Bonjour, hello, I'm glad you came back to learn another lesson in French. Today it's a grammar lesson and we're going to talk about demonstrative adjectives. What's a demonstrative adjective? In English, demonstrative adjectives are those when you say this or that in the singular or in the plural these or those. So you can see this is a very, very useful grammar rule to know and once I explain it to you, you're going to think it's very easy. To begin with, let's look at the way the demonstrative adjectives are formed and spelled and how you use them in language, in French. So to begin with, let's look at the fact that everything is going to depend on whether your noun is masculine or feminine and whether it's singular or plural. A lot of things depend on just that in French. You've probably learned that by now. So, if you are dealing with a masculine singular noun, for example, garçon, garçon means boy, it's singular, and you want to say this boy, you say ce garçon, c-e, ce garçon. Same thing if you want to say that boy, ce garçon. You see, it doesn't change. Another example for a masculine singular noun would be stylo. Stylo means pen. So if I want to say this pen, since it's masculine and singular, ce stylo. That pen, ce stylo. That's pretty simple. Now let me tell you an exception. The exception to masculine singular nouns would be if they begin with a vowel or an H. Why an H? Because an H is not pronounced in French. So that's why it sounds kind of like a vowel, okay? Uh, an example would be um. The word um means man, H-O-M-M-E. So if you want to say this man or that man, you can't say ce um. It's too choppy. It doesn't sound pretty enough. So in French, when you have something that doesn't flow just right, that's when you get an exception to the rule. So that's what you do with a word like um. Instead of saying ce homme, you say cet homme. That cet homme is spelled C-E-T. Now remember, that's the masculine singular form. Another example with an H would be hôtel, which means hotel. This hotel or that hotel, cet hôtel, C-E-T. How about a masculine singular noun that begins with a vowel, like A? The word ami, A-M-I, so the masculine form. If I want to say this friend or that friend, I say cet ami, C-E-T. Now, that brings us to the next point. What do we do with feminine nouns? Feminine singular nouns, no matter if they begin with a consonant or a vowel or an aspirate H, you're always going to use the same demonstrative adjective in front of them. For example, the noun femme, which means woman. If you want to say this woman or that woman, you say cette femme. But it's spelled C-E-T-T-E, cette femme. This or that house, maison, that's a feminine word. Cette maison, C-E-T-T-E. Now, for the easy part, anytime you have a plural noun and it doesn't matter if it begins with a consonant, with a vowel, with an aspirate H, it doesn't matter if it's masculine or feminine, you always use the demonstrative adjective C and it's spelled C-E-S. So if I want to say these boys, ces garçons, those boys, ces garçons, these women, ces femmes. Those women, ces femmes. These houses, ces maisons. Those houses, ces maisons. You get the point, right? So what would you do with a noun like, mm, let's see, I'm looking around, café. Hmm? Café, it's a masculine singular noun. So if I want to say this coffee, I would say ce café. That's right, C-E. Ce café. How about this? Telephone. Un téléphone, right? It's masculine and it's singular. Ce téléphone. C-E. 
How about, uh, let's see. How about this? This is glue, right? Col. It's feminine. La col. So if I want to say this glue, what would I say? Set col. C-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Why? Because it's feminine and it's singular. What if I wanted to say, um, let me look here, what do I have? I have some business cards, right? So those are called cartes de visite. Carte de visite. Can you guess if it's masculine or feminine? Okay, so it's feminine. Une carte de visite. You can see here I've got lots of them. So what would I say? C'est carte de visite. It really doesn't matter that they're feminine, right? Because even if they were masculine, we would use C-E-S. How about... I'm just looking around on my desk to see what I have here. It's cold outside today. So I have gum. Des gants. These are gloves. Des gants. G-A-N-T-S. I'll just tell you, it's masculine because we say un gant. But what if I want to say these gloves? What would I say? Ces gants. C-E-S. Ces gants. Now what I'm looking at right now to record this video is my computer. How do you say computer? Ordinateur. Ordinateur. Now is it masculine or feminine? Masculine. It ends in E-U-R. Well, typically, if something ends in E-U-R in French, then it's going to be masculine. Now, how do I say this computer? It's masculine. It's singular, but it begins with a vowel. It begins with O. So what do I have to use? That's right. C-E-T. Cet ordinateur. How about these? These are earrings. Boucle d'oreille. Boucle d'oreille. Oreille is the ear. Boucle, uh, that's the earring. Okay. So, boucle d'oreille is feminine. Une boucle d'oreille. If I want to say this earring, what would I say? Cette boucle d'oreille. However, j'en ai deux, right? I have two of them. So, what do I say? They're feminine but we don't care, right? As long as there's more than one, we know that we're going to use which demonstrative adjective? That's right. You've got it. C. C-E-S. C. Boucle d'oreille. Voilà. So, I hope that this lesson has been helpful for you. Hmm? What about lesson? This lesson, what I just said in English. Leçon is feminine. It's singular. So, which demonstrative adjective would I use? C-E-T-T-E. Cette leçon. Voilà. So I do hope that it's been helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. You can leave them in the comments. And don't forget, if you want some more French learning resources, or if you want to sign up for a 15-minute free trial lesson with me on Skype to learn French, come over to learnenglishandfrench.com and drop me a line. I'll be happy to hear from you. A bientôt. Au revoir.